Fear, rage, love. What is an emotion? Where do they come from? Why does my sister cry when she sees a spider? Why are children afraid of the dark? American psychologist John Watson developed a theory to answer these questions. The theory of conditioned emotion. John Watson was a behaviorist, which means he firmly believed in using only behavioral observation as a way of studying psychological processes. Thinking of emotion in terms of behavior means an emotion is not a feeling, but an observable reaction to a stimulus. Watson identified three emotional responses he observed appearing from birth in infants, fear, rage, and love. These emotions are characterized by specific patterns of reaction in response to specific situations. The fear reaction appears as the catching of breath, the grasping reflex blinking, puckering of lips, and crying. The rage reaction is exhibited through crying and screaming. The body stiffens, the limbs thrash, and the breath is held. In love situations, if the baby is crying, crying ceases. Love appears as gurgling, cooing, smiling, and extension of the arms. Fear appears in reaction to the sudden removal of support, like being dropped into the arms of an assistant over a couch. Loud sounds, a sudden push or shake when just waking up or falling asleep. Rage appears in reaction to the hampering of movement, and love appears with the stimulation of their erogenous zones, rocking, patting, and turning upon the stomach. Surprisingly, when these newborn babies encountered animals or dark rooms that did not show any fear response, contrary to popular beliefs about the kinds of stimuli children fear. Since only three emotional reactions appeared in response to a very limited range of stimuli, Watson believed there must be another mechanism for broadening the range of emotion in humans. To explore this mechanism, Watson used the conditioned response method. He first used this method to study reflexes. An electric shock is applied to the finger and produces a jerk reflex, called an unconditioned response. Then the shock is applied to the finger simultaneously to the sounding of a bell. After several trials, the sound of the bell alone produces the reflex. This is called a conditioned reflex. The conditioned reflex is persistent over short periods of time. If it fades, it can be re-established with just one trial where the bell and shock are administered together. The response can be discriminatory, which means it can be conditioned to appear to the sound of one tone, but not another. Watson wondered if the process for conditioning a discriminatory reflex response could be applied to the fear response. Watson got the idea to investigate whether emotional reactions could be conditioned when he was testing an infant's grasping reflex in response to fear situations. The infant was being dropped into the arms of an assistant over a couch. But after several trials, the infant started crying simply when placed on the couch or when the grasping rods were placed in her hands. Eventually, just the appearance of the experimenter was enough to induce the reaction. This caused Watson to ask some questions. Can a child be conditioned to show fear in response to a white rat, a stimuli not originally feared? Will there be transfer of the response to other similar s stimuli? Does the conditioned response die out, and if not, can it be unconditioned? To answer these questions, Watson developed the now infamous Little Albert experiment. Watson produced a fear response in an eight-month-old baby by clanging a metal bar behind his head. Then, he produced a white rat to the baby and clanged the bar. Eventually, the baby produced a conditioned fear response toward the rat. Watson also saw that the response transferred to all furry white animals. Over a month, the response decreased in intensity, but continued to persist. Unfortunately, little Albert left the hospital before Watson attempted to uncondition the response, and soon after he published this research, his career in psychology ended abruptly amid scandal, and he never researched emotion again.